Uh, well, the video is very disturbing. We want to be very clear with our audience that you do not see any shots fired, but it does give you a look at those final moments inside that Walmart store. They're looking at each other. It looks like they're shooting at each other. In the chaotic final moments in the shootout between the Millers and the police, officers thought Amanda Miller, seen here raising and pointing her handgun at her husband, fired the shot that killed Jared Miller, seen here at the top. But forensic and autopsy results show police had by now already fired what would be the fatal bullet. Both are wounded and bleeding. He's not down. We're stopping the video as Amanda Miller turns the gun on herself. Female just shot herself in the head. The reason that you're not seeing if the video prior to this or subsequent to this is because it is very graphic. Investigators released this video saying it gives a window into the brutality of the killers. Minutes earlier, they had murdered Joseph Wilcox, who had tried to stop the Millers with his concealed handgun inside a Walmart. At a nearby pizza shop, the couple had ambushed Las Vegas officers Igor Soldo and Alan Beck on their bodies, placing a swastika and draping them with the flag used by anti-government groups. Against the government, against everyone. This is me and you versus the world. Is how Jared Miller viewed his position in the world, posting a number of videos on social media expressing his hatred for the government and law enforcement. We learned today that Las Vegas officers never saw them. What's more, specially trained counterterrorism detectives in the Las Vegas Police Department did go to the Miller's apartment four months ago. Why? Jared Miller threatened Indiana's DMV office, saying he would shoot anyone who took his suspended Indiana driver's license. The male subject claimed that he used different uh, terminology than what the Indiana DMV had told us. Um, but ultimately, at the end of the conversation, uh, those three seasoned detectives uh, did not determine that there was a potential for an ongoing threat at that time. So why did the police decide to release this video right now? Well, in the first news conference, they had said that the wife appeared to shoot her husband. They wanted to correct the record, but they also, Wolf, wanted people to understand exactly how terrifying this couple is.